We are Bullet Host, a Bulgarian hosting company offering web hosting, VPS, RDP and dedicated servers. In this part of the tutorial, I will run you through the first steps of starting your own VPS company. With our plan, you have two processors with 16 cores in total, 32 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD along with 1 gigabit ports at your disposal. I'm going to show you an example procedure of setting up a basic VPS. The first thing we have to do is head to the Launch Instance tab and choose KVM. For the purpose of the tutorial, we're going to be using Ubuntu as an operating system. If you're going to host a website, you have to enter your domain name here. We are going to name ours bullethost.net. In our case, we need a single IP address, so we type in 1. Four gigabytes of RAM is enough. With this plan, you have unlimited bandwidth, but if you want to place a limit for your customers, you can do that here. I would recommend enabling VNC in case you can't access your server through SSH for whatever reason. Here you have your VNC password automatically generated. I suggest keeping it somewhere safe. You also have the option to generate a new one by clicking here. Speaking of passwords, over here we set one for our VPS. You can use up to one terabyte of space. Fill up this field according to your needs. 4 GB for the swap RAM and 4 CPU cores. Now we head to the advanced options. If you want to take full advantage of the 1 gigabit port, you have to set the download and upload speed here. For virtual network interface, we are going to use Virtual. Don't forget to enable it for I.O. as well. Enable RDP is used for Windows only, so we'll leave it unchecked. We are ready with the configuration of our server. Click on Create. This could take up to 5 minutes. Clicking on Manage will take you to the overview page of your newly set up server where you can keep track of your used disk space, CPU, bandwidth and other useful information. You have the option to choose from a variety of panels. Keep in mind that installing one could take up to an hour, so please be patient. Another thing I would like to mention is the APA Credentials tab. The APA allows you to connect your reseller panel to a billing system like WHMCS, which will allow you to automate the creation of VPS and RDP servers for your customers. But we'll get more in-depth in the next part of the tutorial. That's all for now. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us via live chat or a ticket. We are more than happy to help.